In this video, we're gonna be talking about the circular functions. So we have six circular functions. Unahin natin dito sa coordinates na nakikita natin sa unit circle. Yung cosine theta tsaka sine theta. We also know that cosine theta is equivalent to x. And sine theta is equivalent to y. So ito yung, una natin, yung unang dalawang circular functions that we have. Ikatlo yung tangent theta. So we all know that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So from this, we can say that tangent theta is also equivalent to y over x. Because sine is equal to y and cosine is equal to x. Now let's have the secant theta. Secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine. As you notice, this is just the reciprocal of cosine. So if cosine is x, secant theta is equal to 1 over x. See? 1 over x is the reciprocal of x. Let's have the cosecant theta. Cosecant theta, ito naman ay reciprocal ng sine theta. So we have 1 over sine. So cosecant theta is equivalent to 1 over y. So 1 over y is the reciprocal of y. Now let's have the last one, the cotangent theta. This is equivalent to cosine over sine. So see, reciprocal lang siya ng ating tangent. Therefore, our cotangent theta is also equivalent to x over y. So reciprocal siya ng y over x. So these are the six circular functions. Now let's have our example number one. Find the six circular functions of pi over 3. So I will be giving you two options in getting the six circular functions. The first one is by using the unit circle. And the second one is by using the special right triangle. Now let's have our unit circle. So this is just a portion of our unit circle. This is the quadrant 1 because in quadrant 1, we can see our given which is pi over 3. So ito siya nasa 60 degrees, so pi over 3. Ang coordinates niya ay 1 half, that is the abscissa, and square root of 3 over 2, that is the y-axis or the ordinate. Okay, so from this coordinate, we can obtain the six circular functions. This is the first option. For the second option, if you do not have your unit circle with you or you don't have any idea about unit circle, you can use this special right triangle. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to convert region measure kasi nasa region measure siya. We're going to convert it in degree measures. So if you want an in-depth discussion regarding converting degrees to region and vice versa, I have a separate video. I will be putting the link in the description box below. So in converting region to degrees, we simply multiply by 180 over pi. So this is our given. Pi over 3 times natin siya sa 180 over pi, which is 60 degrees. Now, since the degree measure of our pi over 3 is 60, we can use the special right triangle 30 by 60 by 90. You can also use this triangle in obtaining the six circular functions. How? So later, i-discuss natin. So unahin natin dito sa coordinates na nakita natin sa unit circle. So from the coordinates, let's obtain our six circular functions. Let's start with cosine. So we have cosine 60. Pwede rin natin gamitin ang pi over 3. We have cosine pi over 3. So they are just the same because pi over 3 is the region measure and 60 is the degree measure. So they are in the same position in our unit circle. Okay? So we have cosine 60 is equal to 1 half. So yung 1 half, that is our x coordinate. Now, if you don't have your unit circle with you, you can use this special right triangle. So if you have cosine 60, Using the Sokatoa, cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So what is the adjacent side of our 60? That is 1. And hypotenuse is 2. 
So that's why we have 1 over 2 as our cosine 60. Now let's have sine 60. Sine 60 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So that is the y coordinate of our ordered pair here. Then again, if you don't have your unit circle, you can use the special right triangle. So sine in the Sokatoa, sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite side of 60 is square root of 3 over hypotenuse. That's why we have square root of 3 over 2. Since we have cosine and sine, we can have our tangent. So tangent 60 is equal to sine over cosine. Sine is square root of 3 over 2 all over 1 half. 1 half is our cosine. So since we have complex fraction here, ano ba yung ginagawa natin? We find the reciprocal of the denominator and multiply it to the numerator. So in doing so, we will have square root of 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 1. 2 over 1 is the reciprocal of 1 half. Then we can cancel 2. So yan. Our tangent 60 is equal to square root of 3. Let's have the secant 60. So, secant, kagaya ng discussion natin kanina, is just the reciprocal of cosine. So, if our cosine 60 is 1 half, the reciprocal is 2. Now, we have cos secant 60. Ito naman ay reciprocal ng sine. So, if we have square root of 3 over 2, ang reciprocal niya ay 2 over square root of 3. Then, one of the rules in mathematics, we cannot have radical in the denominator. So, how are we going to remove the radical in the denominator? So, we rationalize. To rationalize, we multiply 2 over square root of 3 by square root of 3 over square root of 3 to remove the radical sign. So, let's multiply. We have 2 square root of 3 over 3. Because this will become square root of 9, and square root of 9 is 3. For the cotangent, cotangent, kagaya ng discussion din natin kanina, that is just the reciprocal of tangent. So we have square root of 3 in the tangent, so that is 1 over square root of 3 in the cotangent. So again, we have radical in the denominator, rationalize it. So by multiplying square root of 3 over square root of 3. Then we will have square root of 3 over 3. So these are the 6 circular functions of pi over 3. Example number 2. Find the 6 circular functions of 23 pi over 6. So the first thing is we convert this into degrees. So 23 pi over 6 multiplied by 180 over pi. This will give us 690 degrees. So as we notice, this is beyond the 1 revolution or 360. So what are we going to do? We're going to find the smallest positive coterminal angle. Now let's find the smallest positive coterminal angle. So I have a separate video discussing coterminal angle. I will be putting the link down in the description box. So in finding the smallest positive coterminal angle, we subtract 360 from our 690, so which will give us 330. Now, since our degree is within 0 to 360, we can find this in our unit circle. This is in the quadrant 4. So here is our 330. Okay, so by using this unit circle, we can have our 6 circular functions. And our option 2, we can use the special right triangle by finding the reference angle of 330. So I also have a separate video discussing the reference angle. I will be putting also the link down in the description box. So in finding the reference angle, we're going to use the formula 360 minus the angle in quadrant 4. So the angle in quadrant 4, it pertains to the 330. So by substitution, we have 360 minus 330, which will give us 30 degrees. Okay, 
Now, since our reference angle is 30, we can use this special right triangle 30 by 60 by 90. So, nandito ulit yung dalawang options natin in obtaining the six circular functions. One is by using the unit circle and the second one is by using the special right triangle. Now, 330 is here. So, ang ating coordinates ay positive, negative because we are in quadrant 4. So, positive sine or positive cosine and negative sine. So, here is the coordinates of our 330 degrees. So, for cosine, that is square root of 3 over 2. So, cosine 690. So, I use 690 because this is the degree measure equivalent to our region measure. Okay, we can also use this as substitute to 690. It's up to you. Now, let's have cosine 690 that is equivalent to square root of 3 over 2. For the sine 690, that is equivalent to negative 1 half. Here is negative 1 half. For the tangent, we have sine over cosine. So, negative 1 half all over square root of 3 over 2. Then, get the reciprocal of our denominator and multiply it to our numerator. So, we have negative 1 half multiplied by 2 over square root of 3. So, we can cancel 2. So, we have negative 1 over square root of 3. So, rationalize by multiplying to this. So, our tangent is square root of 3 or negative square root of 3 over 3. This is our tangent. And for our secant 690, we have 2 over square root of 3. So, this is the reciprocal of our cosine. Then again, we have a radical in the denominator. We rationalize. We multiply it by square root of 3 over square root of 3. Then by multiplying, we're going to have 2 square root of 3 over 3 as the value of our secant 690 degrees. And for the cosecant 690 degrees, we have a negative 2. Negative 2 is just the reciprocal of negative 1 half. And for the cotangent, we have negative 3 over square root of 3. So this is the reciprocal of our tangent. So we rationalize again because we have radical in the denominator. So if we're going to multiply this, the answer is negative 3 square root of 3 over 3. Then simplify it by canceling 3 over 3. We have the value of cotangent that is equal to negative square root of 3. So these are our 6 circular functions of 23 pi over 6. So if you're going to use this special right triangle, your focus angle will be 30. So cosine 30 that will be cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. This is the hypotenuse. So we have square root of 3 over 2 as our cosine. For sine 30, that is opposite over hypotenuse. So that is 1 half. So negative because we are in the quadrant 4. Now let's have the third example. Find the six circular functions of negative 135. So what are we going to do if our given is a negative angle? So we're going to find the smallest positive coterminal angle. So in finding that, we're going to add 360 to our given. So negative 135 plus 360, that will give us 225. So we can find the 225 degrees in our third quadrant. So here it is. Okay, this is the first option using the unit circle. Now, if you don't have your unit circle with you, you can use the special right triangle. But first, you need to find the reference angle. So in getting the reference angle, since we are in quadrant 3, we use the formula, the angle in quadrant 3 minus 180. So substitute the 225 minus 180, we have 45. So since our reference angle is 45 degrees, we use the 45 by 45 by 90 right triangle. Okay? Now, 
since we are in the third quadrant, our coordinates has the signs negative, negative. Okay, negative cosine, negative sine. So here is the coordinate of our 225 degrees. Now let's have the cosine negative 135. That is equivalent to square root of 2 over 2. That is the x coordinate. And for the sine, we also have negative square root of 2 over 2. Now let's have our tangent. Tangent negative 135 is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2 all over negative square root of 2 over 2. So we have the same numerator and the same denominator. So this means that tangent negative 135 is equal to 1. Okay? Now let's have our secant negative 135. So this is equivalent to negative 2 over square root of 2. So this is the reciprocal of our cosine. Again, we're going to rationalize because we have radical in the denominator. So we're going to multiply 2 square root of 2 over square root of 2 to remove the radical in the denominator. So in multiplying, we're going to have negative 2 square root of 2 over 2. And we can cancel 2. Secant negative 135 is equivalent to negative square root of 2. Now, for the cosecant negative 135, we also have negative square root of 2. Bakit? Kasi magkatulad lang sila ng secant. Pag kinuha natin yung reciprocal ng ating sign, that is also negative 2 over square root of 2. Kagaya nung nasa secant natin. So, which will give us also negative square root of 2. And lastly, for the cotangent, negative 135, that is also equivalent to 1 because the reciprocal of 1 is also 1. And that ends our video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.